Hey good people, have you used that follow tactic spiral pulse rifle? You know, that arc one from Neo Muna that drops from activities over there and that you can craft? Well if you have, you might think it's a freaking beast. And if you haven't, what's wrong with you? This is a high impact with mostly vertical recoil and good range. Everything else needs a little help though. To get those five red borders to craft, you gotta get one about halfway through the Lightfall campaign on each character, and there's a chance to get them to drop from those gold heroic patrols on Neo Muna. This one's got some interesting perks, y'all. For PvE, any barrel is good, but small bore, corkscrew rifling, or hammer forge are top three. That's more range, stability, and handling, respectively. And in the mag, go for flare of magwell. Ricochet rounds or armor piercing rounds. Each one helps with one of its lacking stats. Then in the next slot, keep away is what you want. Keep your distance and watch it work. Then in the last slot, frenzy for more damage. But if you want to lean into arc, you gotta get yourself a bolt shot. It's definitely worth it. Throw on a damage spec bot and a reload masterwork, and all is good over here. Now let's switch over to PvP. Get Hammer Forge, Fluted Barrel, or Arrowhead Break. It's either more range, handling, or recoil control with these. Then Ricochet, or High Caliber Rounds in the mag. Classic choices for a reason. And in the next slot, Keep Away is number one. Tunnel Vision is pretty good too, but you better keep that Keep Away. Then in the last slot, Headseeker is the move. Yeah, Kill Clip works too, but Headseeker will get it done. Elemental Capacitor drops here in case that's your taste as well. Go for a Handling or Stability Master and a Backup Mag or Quick Access Sling. This is one of my favorite pulses right now. It hits hard and has perks to make its neutral game tight. It also has that Rocket trait which doesn't do much in PvP, but helps a little in PvE. Give it a try and let me know how you feel in the comments. Now what other guns should I look into y'all? Like subs and those comments help as always. Thanks and I'm out.